In this Haterate how-to, I'm gonna show you how you can create and customize any movie poster for your home theater. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our movie poster application is open and mine's open as you can see here. And then the second thing that we wanna do is we wanna open up our web browser. Now you can select your web browser of choice. I'm gonna use Firefox, but when you have your web browser open, you wanna open up a new tab and then we wanna to go to this address, www.themoviedb.org. Now I'm already on the website, but this is the website that we're going to use to download all of our movie posters. You can do TV shows as well, but we're going to use this to download our movie posters. Okay, so we're going to go back to our movie poster application. We're going to right click and hit settings. And then this box is going to come up and then we want to select open web remote. So this is going to open our web remote which a lot of people didn't know that you could do this. And I can even access this on my phone as long as I type in the web address. So we're gonna close out of that. And then we're gonna go back to web remote. And then we're gonna go to menu. And then we're gonna select poster cache, okay? The next thing that we wanna do is we want to go to actions. And then we wanna select add new poster manual. So this is where we're going to edit our movie poster. As you can see, everything is blank. And this is where our movie poster would go. So before we add our movie poster, we're gonna go back to the movie database. And let's say I wanted to add Top Gun Maverick. So I'm just gonna type Top Gun and then Top Gun Maverick is here. So I'm gonna select that. And then we're gonna scroll down to posters. And then we're gonna do view all posters. So let's say I want to select one that's, well, first let me say, I would select, I would encourage you to use one that's 2000 by 3000 in size. If you select one of the other ones, it'll still work, but it might not be, it might not look as good. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, so I'm gonna select that, and then I'm gonna get a full image. I'm gonna right click. Save image as. Now, Movie Poster just opened up the location of where it saves all of my movie posters. So you can save this wherever you like, whatever location, it doesn't really matter, but it needs to be in this Movie Poster Media Store. Again, you can probably create a, a completely different file location as long as you know where this poster is located, but this is where Movie Poster automatically saves your movie posters. It saves it in Movie Poster. Media store. So now I'm just going to rename this to Top Gun Maverick. Okay, and then I'm going to hit save. So then we're going to go back to our poster details and now we're going to add that poster that we just added. So I'm going to hit this little plus sign on poster and then I'm going to search for the movie poster. So I'm going to type, type in Top Gun Maverick. And I already have it in here, but just for tutorial purposes, I'm gonna select it again. So I'm going to select, let's do, I think it's the same one. So I'm gonna select that one, I'm gonna hit submit. And then we have our movie poster. So now we can start customizing it. So we know the title is Top Gun Maverick, okay. And the year came out is 2022 tagline. Now to find the tagline, we're gonna go back to the moviedb.org. We're gonna hit back and then we're gonna scroll up and then this is where you'll find your tagline. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back to poster details. We're gonna hit paste. Runtime. So the runtime is going to be two hours and 11 minutes. So I'm gonna copy that. Paste, okay? And then for genre, we're gonna do action. You can select whichever genre according to the movie. And then if you want, you can, you know, fill out these stars here. And then summary and plot. So we're gonna go back and overview. We're gonna copy that. And I'm gonna put this under plot. 
Okay. So then we have our header. So the movie is already out. And since I already have the movie, I'm going to select now playing. But if it was a movie that hadn't came out yet, then you could select coming soon, welcome featuring. So I'm going to hit now playing. And then under rating, we know that our rating is PG-13. And you can find that all the info here. So we're going to go back. We do resolution. 4K Ultra HD. Aspect ratio 16 by 9. Since my screen is 16 by 9, you can select whatever size your screen is. Audio is going to be Dolby Atmos. And then Studio, I believe, is Paramount. So let's see. Sometimes this works. Sometimes this doesn't. But select Paramount. Hit search. And it didn't find it for some reason. So we're just going to use none default. Like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. There's no rhyme or reason. Okay, so now we have all of our information filled out. We have our rating. We have our resolution, our aspect ratio, our audio. We have our plot. We have our header. And then we have our genre. We have the runtime. We have the tagline. We have the year, and we have the title, and we have our movie poster. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to click Actions, and then we need to hit save changes and then at the bottom you'll see data for top gun has been saved okay so now we're going to go back to our menu we're going to go back to poster cache and then we can search for our title top gun maverick we'll hit search and there is our movie so in order to get that movie to be on here into our movie poster, we're gonna hit this little star. We're gonna hit show on display and then default, and then we should see it change. And there it is. So then if I hit maximize, now, as I mentioned before, I'm using a Chromecast to cast the desktop to that monitor, and to do that, all you need to do is open Google Chrome. We'll hit these little ellipses. We'll go to cast. Make sure you cast screen because if you cast tab, it's not going to work. So we're going to cast the screen. And then I'm going to go to guest room TV, which is what it's called. It used to be in my guest room, but it's not in there anymore. And I just left it like that. We're going to hit that. And then I'm going to go back here and maximize. And then it'll be displaying on my monitor and I'll show you that as well. So here's our movie poster. We've got our Top Gun movie poster that we created. So you've got your, got your now playing, got the movie poster, and then we've got our information that we put in there. We've got the rating, we got the tagline, feel the need for speed, or feel the need, the need for speed, and then we've got our audio, our aspect ratio, 4K Ultra HD, and then we have our five stars. So very, very easy to create customized movie posters. Let me show you guys a few others that I did. So here is another one that I created. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. This movie isn't even out yet. This movie comes out next year, but if there's a movie poster for it, you can create a movie poster. So very beautiful movie poster. And once again, we have our rating, we have the studio, Marvel, we have our tagline, audio, resolution, and then 4K Ultra HD. And here's another poster that I made, Ant-Man and the Wasp. So this movie, again, hasn't even come out yet, doesn't come out till next year, but the movie poster is there, so I can create my own custom movie poster. So we've got our coming soon sign because it hasn't come out yet. And then we have our beautiful poster. And then we have our rating, studio, audio, aspect ratio, 4K, Ultra HD. So it's extremely simple to create custom movie posters. You just need to know where to go in the movie poster software. And then from there, it doesn't take very long. You can put whatever you want and in the information on the title, 
you know, coming soon, now playing. So that's how you create and customize movie posters for movie poster. So that's how you can customize any movie poster for movie poster software and for your home theater. If you found this video helpful, why don't you do me a favor, hit the like button, and if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys in the next video.